Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having an amazing day. See a little switch up there. As always, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a thumbs up, by leaving comment, by leaving two comments, by leaving three comments, by leaving four comments. I was going to keep on going, but that would just be too repetitive. Or by subscribing if you have not already done so. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. It's going to be a smidge of a news I missed. There's a lot of stuff happening at once in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, so here I am bringing you more of that information of the things that are happening within the cryptocurrency space. Uh, a, a very huge trend. I believe we were talking about this sometime last week as well. The discussion of the flippening is getting out of control, dare I say. It's all over the place. It's all I'm reading all the time. For those of you who do not know or do know, just a little quick roundup. The idea is that Ethereum's price continues to rise. And as it continues to rise, it gets closer to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's price is not rising. And therefore, at some point in the near future, Ethereum will flip with Bitcoin and become the number one coin. So um, a lot of people believe in this. I'm, I'm going to show you some uh, some articles uh, floating around because this is kind of the like main topic right now. As Bitcoin continues to, for whatever reason, at the time of me making this video, struggle to try and get past sixty thousand U.S. dollars, when I'm pretty sure it hit sixty two, sixty three thousand before. But that's completely besides the point. Uh, Ethereum's dominance continues to rise. There's a lot of uh, energy floating around Ethereum, especially as we get closer to the next upgrade. And as this continues happening and Ethereum's price, I mean, you, you, you definitely see it at the beginning of all the other videos as well. Ethereum is always hitting a brand new all-time high, and we keep getting news that as Ethereum does well, the entire altcoin market will also do well as well. This one says, the day Ethereum beats Bitcoin is the flippening coming. It says, flippening. Question mark. Record $10 billion of Ethereum futures volume briefly outpaces Bitcoin. There are a lot of, uh, I don't remember these people's names. They're like 16 people. They're always in the news. Like the same revolving, very rich people who are always there. Uh, about six of them very recently have come forward to basically say... <clears throat> Ethereum has more utility. They expect a flippening. Ethereum is going to become the number one coin. First of all, no one knows if any of this is actually going to uh, take place. And even more so, this is the same exact discussion that we had in 2017 because the same exact thing was happening. And a lot of people think that we could see a mimic of what we saw in 2017, i.e. basically uh, Bitcoin's price went up. Ethereum's price went up. Everyone was like, woo, that's crazy. And then at some point, Bitcoin kind of stagnated. It wasn't really moving. Ethereum got like this close. And I mean, like actually this close, uh, to becoming the number one coin. And then Bitcoin skyrocketed. Like it wasn't even like Bitcoin jumped by 5%. Bitcoin pumped and no other coin could keep up with it. And that was kind of all she wrote. But now we are at the point where, once again, we are seeing the same exact thing. This is even a German one. It says Bitcoin's dominance is in the, what would be Keller? Uh, seller, like the, the basement. Uh, flipping on the horizon? Question mark? Um, I mean, well, I, I can't say no. Because you know what? You know, in, in, in all actuality, um, everything that we have collectively experienced over the last four, five, six weeks... Uh, just seeing what jumps into the top 20, what jumps into the top 10, the way that the coins are moving and all these other things. There is no guarantee that Bitcoin will always be the number one coin. There's just no guarantee. It's based off of logical metrics of what we have seen in the news the last what was it, 1500 days together, uh, where basically, you know, Bitcoin seems to be, you know, the top of the chart as it actually uh, literally is. But yeah, I mean, it's really it's kind of a lot. I think we will definitely have this tested in the next, I give it five or six weeks. As we get into the middle of June and we are very close to having the actual upgrade, we are, I'm expecting that we will see Ethereum's price begin to pump. And if Bitcoin hasn't moved by then, now listen, if Bitcoin's price hasn't moved in the next five weeks, but Ethereum has steadily kept on going up, because Ethereum only has to double to really get to where Bitcoin is right now. Uh, expect a Wall Street bets Dogecoin type of pump where people push as much money as possible into Ethereum to make sure that it actually flips Bitcoin. That would turn the entire market on its head and Ethereum would pump to sky and back. Um, maybe not even a, a, a back at that point. Uh, but this is everywhere. There's actually even a website. Um, you can Google 
uh, flippening watch. <laughs> I mean, the, all the metrics are there. Uh, this is the last time that we came really close to it actually flippening. This is in 2017. Like that is extreme. Like we were a day and a half away from having Ethereum become the number one coin. And Bitcoin said no. As you can see, the dominant just completely collapses uh, as the time continued moving forward. But anyway, I mean, it's all over the place. How to profit off of the flippening. This is from 2017. People thought that this was really going to happen. Uh, we will see as the days be become us, as the days move forward. That The first one didn't make any sense, and I'm not even sure why that was a thing. Um, yeah. Ethereum, more than just a currency. That's that's the kind of the, the thing going around right now is that while Bitcoin is the store value and the gold, Ethereum is the entire new internet. So therefore, we should be giving it more priority. But and without further ado, let's move on. Now, this just came out and a lot of people are losing their minds over it. And we will discuss that in a couple of seconds. Basically, and th these people, okay, whatever. Uh, so on Wednesday, that's today, MoneyGram announced a partnership with ATM provider CoinMe that will nearly double the number of physical locations where people can buy Bitcoin in the United States. You heard that correctly. MoneyGram is going to be offering Bitcoin at nearly all of their locations it says the arrangement will see MoneyGram add the Bitcoin service to around 12,000 locations starting this month and then another 5,000 locations in June. The really weird part, and this is maybe because, you know, we're in the future. Uh, I think it's kind of weird that they just don't have it on their website as like an actual, like t th th there would be, especially for older people, older people would definitely use MoneyGram, whatever the website is. Uh, to be able to buy Bitcoin on there. I, I see that as, as a complete possibility. I don't know if they expect people to mosey on down to the local MoneyGram and go, you guys got any Bitcoin? But maybe that's also a thing. I don't, I'm just used to, you know, living on the internet. So yeah, um, the, the um, controversial part is that um, a number of years ago, MoneyGram and Western Union uh, had partnered or were rumored to have partnered with, and I think one of them actually, that I don't remember which one at this point, had actually partnered with Ripple. And the idea was they were going to be using XRP, and then one of them lied and said that it was too expensive to use XRP, which we went over together in a video. For those of you who were not here many years ago, uh, I can't remember which company, either MoneyGram or Western Union, one of the two, uh, made sure to announce, they had like a whole press thing, they were like, yeah, we tried, but it was way too expensive for our customers, and then we actually went on the XRP ledger, and I think the cost of a transaction on the XRP ledger is like one-tenth of one cent. And the actual fees on their website, the, the company who said it was too expensive was like $18 and is like, somebody's lying. So yeah, that um, this shows the sign of the times. This is very popular. Like this just, it just came out a couple of minutes ago. Uh, will Bitcoin react to this? Shrug. Bitcoin doesn't, I think Bitcoin just walking into a wall right now. Uh, so much adoption, so much Bitcoin news every single day. And this is why we keep getting all the flippening news because of of nonsense like this. So it is definitely a, a bend the knee moment. I'm actually uh, just awaiting at this point that MoneyGram is going to say, hey, we're also allowing you to send Bitcoin back and forth. But I have a feeling the people who run MoneyGram are maybe not as up to date with how things work. Um, so anyway, I guess this is a, a trusted location for people to be able to go to and get their Bitcoin. But you know, the internet also is, is, you know, exists so people can do that there. Anyway, that's the, yeah, this is definitely real. You can Google it. T type in MoneyGram Bitcoin in your search engine and you will definitely find it. Anyway, that's that news. And let's move on. Next up, also, and for some reason, this is new. I have to sneeze. Please go away. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, it worked. Binance US's new CEO, Brian Brooks sat down recently at the Ethereal Summit to outline the company's explosive plans for expansion over the coming year. Brooks said that he plans to double the headcount in the next six months by hiring around 75 to 100 people, then increase it to five times its current headcount in the next 18 months. And I think it's pretty clear that Binance is the fastest growing exchange in the United States. The news is Binance plans on hiring more people. That was the news. 
kind of weird, right? This was also quite popular. I think this is also definitely part of a, a news I missed uh, segment. But um, alas, yes, uh, Binance is huge. They're going to continue growing and they need more people to work for them. And therefore, they're hiring more people. So that's the Binance news. If you kind of want to say that, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Like we always get news like this sometimes. And I'm like, did you think that Binance was not going to hire new people? Anyway, that's Binance. It keeps growing. So they got to hire more people. News. Let's move on. In, of course, because because what else? What else would they do besides do something like this? Gemini has announced it will grant its customers the opportunity, good for them, to earn interest on Dogecoin. They can realize as much as 2.25% annually on the meme coin. With this innovation, Gemini Earn now accounts for more than $2 billion in loans from its customers. A massive craze around Dogecoin keeps its invasion and reached the U.S. trading venue Gemini. The official website of the crypto exchange, founded by the Winklevies, announced to its users that they can start earning interest on Doge with Gemini Earn. The company revealed its custody support for the meme coin and affirmed that Gemini is only is the only regulated platform in the United States where trading and earning interest on Doge is allowed in all 50 states. Furthermore, Gemini officials up in that Dogecoin is a true successor of Bitcoin. I'm not sure if they're trolling, like I and I and I mean this just completely. I, I don't I don't know what they're doing. I'm not really sure. There there must have been something speculation um, floating around where months ago they were like, hey, let's get into this as well. I'm not sure if it's a publicity stunt for those of you who uh, do not remember this happened in January. Remember when the entire Wall Street bets things was, was happening and the price of GameStop was like skyrocketing. Um, the Gemini twins came out and basically, what, what was it? They were on like CNBC and they're like, yeah, money to the people. Kind of this, the whole like revolutionary thing, which I was like, why are you doing like, who you think you're trying to, uh, get on the good side of, uh, and then when we heard that, oh gosh, what was it? Like, what was the sequence of events? First of all, for those of you who also don't know, the Gemini twins are also going to be making a movie about the wall street thing, which was kind of like. You know, you don't really normally make movies about revolutions as they're continuing to happen in front of us. Also kind of cash grabby. And then when Dogecoin started pumping, I, I feel like they also jumped onto that as well to kind of be like, hey, we're young and hip. Not that I'm making fun of them, but they keep doing really weird. Like they, they don't add the coins that people want. I mean, to be fair, people want Dogecoin. So I guess that's I guess that's one of them. Anyway, if you are a, a Gemini user, you can earn 2.25% interest on it by keeping it with the Gemini twins. And um, yeah, here's the actual press release for it right here on their website. Got a little cute uh, Shiba Inu laying on somebody's legs with, with dead grass next to it and little doggy thing. So that's a photo. Anyway, good. I mean, if you got doggy coin and you want to make some extra cash, then Gemini it up. I think this is also it right here. Yep. Popular news. Let's move on. I don't know why I said it that way. Um, next up, for some reason, this is also news, and this just feels like I want to get in the news kind of thing. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, you should all know that name at this point, who's the creator of Facebook, um, is apparently, allegedly, supposedly, purportedly, maybe burble, Maybelline, uh, into, uh, Bitcoin. How do we know this? Because he posted this photo, um, of his goats, because of course he has goats. What billionaire doesn't have goats at this point? Um, and his two goats, one of them is called Max and one of them is called Bitcoin. Um, I was actually a little annoyed at that simply because I, I would have appreciated if one of them had been called Maxi. So it was like Bitcoin Maxi. I think that would have made a little bit more sense. But alas, here we are. Um, and everyone completely lost their minds. They're like, oh my gosh, could one of the richest people on this planet be into something else that's going to make him richer? Listen, stop it. We've had news since 2016, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 2017, that uh, Facebook was allegedly already into uh, Bitcoin. And then we got news in 2018 that Facebook was planning on making their own cryptocurrency called Libra or Diem or Day or whatever they were m making at that point. Um, one of the executives people went, was talking to us and they basically said their initial plan was to use Bitcoin, but Bitcoin was way too slow for the operations that they were trying to do. And therefore they decided to make their own coin. I'm going to assume 
if we've heard that there are now listen, if Lindsay Lohan, Jay Z, Nas, what was the other one? Paris Hilton have all been into Bitcoin since 2016, 2017. We can safely assumption that Mark Zuckerberg uh, uh, assumption has some Bitcoin. I'm just going to, you know, it's just I don't get why everyone's like, oh, snaps. That's crazy. Zuck is into money. He he, what, he named his he, his he has goats. He named the goat Bitcoin. I don't know what else to say to that, but this was very popular news. Like, I was actually quite shocked because I, I kept on seeing it all over the place. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He has animals. Oh, they have names. Wow, that's cool. And then it just kept on popping up. So uh, we will probably never know explicitly for sure or certain if uh, Mr. Zuckerberg is owning Bitcoin directly himself. Uh, we can probably try to assume that Facebook or a subsidiary of Facebook or a shell company that is a subsidiary of Facebook shell company probably owns some type of Bitcoin. I don't think that they would have let this pass them by. If we keep hearing about that there are companies who have, what was the other one that we heard from earlier? There was some other company, they're like, yeah, we have an extra $141 million. We'll throw that into Bitcoin. Safely assume that, you know, Facebook's billions, they're probably at least putting, you know, at least a dollar into Bitcoin. I'd go so far as to say probably half a billion dollars. Anyway, so yeah, um, he got goat's milk and those, I really wanted him to name it Maxi. That would have been really spot on. Anyway, that's the Mark Zuckerberg has goats news. Uh-huh. And to finish things off, because, you know, the, the joke just never ends, the popular meme coin Dogecoin is now on the Tron network. Trying to remain relevant, the CEO of Tron, Justin Sun, made the announcement on Twitter and went on to explain that Dogecoin on Tron is now supported on Poloniex, JustSwap, JustLend, and Sun.io. Imagine naming so many things after yourself. Furthermore, one of the tokens will soon have the opportunity of swapping Dogecoin with the USDT on the Tron network and earning interest on their holdings. I was waiting. I was hoping they would say that because I, 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 I need that in my life. At a glance at Tron, scan reveals that a total of 50 million Doge tokens have been issued on Tron and represent the actual Doge on a one-to-one -one ratio. That's how it normally works. The 50 million supply of Doge on Tron can be seen in the screenshot below. So, yeah. Um... Monkey see Tron do. That's just how it always works. Every single time. For those of you who have not been here and have no idea, uh, <laughs> watch my other videos. Every single time that anyone does something, Tron goes, hey, us too. We got it. We can, we can do the same exact thing. <sighs> anyway, so Doge is everywhere now. I was having a discussion, uh, many discussions. A lot of people are asking me about Doge now. I do assume that at some point, once again, we are going to get to a $1 Doge. And Doge may even be around forever, but just understand that, you know, it, 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 it was made as a joke. So if you're going to make money on it, just make sure that you know that. And if you do make tons of monies, make sure to, you know, pay attention to your portfolio. So that's the doggy news. Yeah, I do hope you all enjoyed. Ethereum is looking great. Bitcoin is all over the place. I'm not I'm not sure what's happening with Bitcoin, what she needs in her life, but it, something has to give because it just looks ridiculous at this point. Ethereum keeps going up. Uh, the number that we are trying to hit is 5,000 US dollars. And when we do that, we will basically hit the moon after that. No Dogecoin pun intended. Polkadot is up by 13. Unicorn is up by 15. Solana is up by 13. EOS is up by 11. OKB is up by 13. Ave is up by 13. Huobi Token's up by 18. Luna is up by 10. Matic is up by 18. Maker is up by 15. Percentile Avalanche is up by 16. Rune is up by 14. Kusama is up by 25. And Zcash is still kicking. It's up by 24%. I do hope you all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are. Wherever you might be, I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.